Finally, a new generation of Viking warriors and kings is coming to our screens. Vikings are preparing for an invasion. And we're gonna tell you everything we know about the show's main cast and the characters they play right now. Let's learn how the Prince of Hell became a Viking, find out which cast member also appeared on Game of Thrones and The Last Kingdom, and discover who the new Queen of Kattegat is. Without further ado, let's start. Sam Corlett as Leif Erikson Remember Eric the Red from the original Viking series? The new show is focused on his children, Leif Erikson and his sister Freydis. The two struggle to build their own legacy apart from their father. Although it's hardly a spoiler to say that Leif will become one of the most legendary Viking adventurers in history, the intrepid sailor is portrayed by the Australian actor Sam Corlett. This. He's a relative newcomer to television, who made a name for himself as a professional male model. However, acting was always his first passion. Sam has appeared alongside Eric Bana in the mystery thriller The Dry, and as the devilishly handsome Prince Caliban on Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. By the way, Corlett's on-screen sister also started her career as a model. Frida Gustafsson as Freydis Eriksdottir. The fierce devotee to the pagan Viking ways is played by a very successful Swedish model. Frida revealed that she began modeling to regain her confidence when she was a teenager. Amazingly, she was spotted by a scout when she was at an IKEA store with her father, and later that same year she was doing a fashion show for Valentino in Paris. But after a couple of years, Gustafsson got tired of going back and forth between her home in Sweden and different cities around Europe and the US. Moreover, she never really felt completely at home in the modeling industry. So after a while, Frida took a giant leap of faith and enrolled in a theater course. She made her on-screen debut in the Swedish romance Swoon five years ago, and fans of the Witcher series might recognize her as Geralt's mother. Even though her role was quite small, it clearly paid off, as she's now one of the three main characters in the Vikings spin-off. The actress shared that she enjoyed filming the battle scenes in the picturesque fields of Ireland, and also exploring the countryside with her partner Marcel Engdahl. The two have been together since 2018, and are even thinking about starting a family. Now let's talk about another charismatic character on Vikings Valhalla. Leo Suter as Harald Sigurdsson. Born into Viking nobility, he's one of the last berserkers who can unite both pagans and Christians. I'm Harald Sigurdsson. Charming and ambitious, he wants to become king. Something that can't be achieved without a little bloodshed. The English actor Leo Souter, who brings him to life, is best known for his performance in various period dramas, like Beecham House and Victoria. And although Leo didn't plan to limit himself to playing only those roles, he enjoys entering different worlds. It means I'm exposed to different writing styles and storyline arcs that only help in my development as a performer, shared Souter. However, one of these roles ignited rumors about his sexuality. After playing a gay man in the series Victoria, fans assumed that Leo prefers men in real life too. Despite the gossip, he refuses to reveal anything about his relationship status. Most of his posts on Instagram are related to his work. This is something he has in common with another member of the Vikings Valhalla cast, Bradley Freegard as King Canute. The wise and ruthless King of Denmark is played by the popular Welsh actor Bradley Freegard. He's made appearances in both British and American productions, such as Da Vinci's Demons and Doctors. Interestingly, in one of his latest shows, A Legal Mystery Keeping Faith, Bradley acts alongside his wife, Eve Miles. The pair first met back in mid-1990s and attended the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama together. I was attracted to her straight away, shared Freeguard. She's got a fantastic personality and similar sense of humor as me, so we just get on really well. The pair tied the knot in 2013 in Italy, and their relationship is still going strong. Bradley revealed that the real reason they've been together for so long and through so much is because they were with each other before things really started taking off. Even Brad shared three daughters, the youngest of which was born just last October. Taking to Twitter, the proud dad shared a gorgeous photo of the baby's tiny hand, writing, she truly is an angel. Now let's move on to the actor who plays Harald's older half-brother. Johannes Johannesson as Olaf Haraldsson. 
Olaf is an Old Testament Christian and is described as ambitious and physically huge. And the Icelandic actor is perfect for this role, as he's great at portraying gruff action heroes. He's featured in a number of major Hollywood projects, including Game of Thrones, the fantasy drama Cursed, and The Last Kingdom. However, Johannes hasn't become a successful actor just because of his looks. He's also got a bachelor's degree in fine arts and speaks four languages. Just like his co-star Bradley Freegard, Johannes and his wife have three children. The actor is not shy about sharing details of his life on Instagram, so feel free to learn more about this gentle giant. Now let's talk about the character who has something in common with the original Viking series, Laura Berlin as Emma of Normandy. This young and wealthy woman is believed to be a descendant of Rollo, the brother of the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok. Married to the King of England, she's politically astute and should not be underestimated. Laura Berlin, who plays the role of Emma, hails from Germany. At age 15, she was discovered by a modeling agency and has appeared in fashion shows for Boss and Balenciaga. Laura gained her initial acting experience from school theater and private acting lessons. Her first TV appearance happened when she was 19, and by now, her filmography is quite extensive. However, most of her works are unknown to English-speaking audiences. Still, you might know her from the young adult adventure drama Ruby Red. Now let's move on to the young actor who plays Emma's stepson. Lewis Davison as Prince Edmund. The young son of the King of England has to deal with Viking attacks and other challenges, but he's too inexperienced to lead a nation. However, that's not something that can be said about the actor who portrays him. Lewis Davison comes from a showbiz family. His father is Doctor Who alumnus Peter Davison, and his mother is actress Elizabeth Morton. No wonder Lewis started acting when he was very young. He made a stage debut at 14, and later appeared on the TV drama Poldark and the time-traveling teen series Find Me in Paris. And our next Vikings actor is arguably the most handsome among the entire cast. David Oakes as Earl Godwin. David has made a career out of playing morally dubious characters, and it looks like nothing has changed. In his role as an advisor to the King of England, Earl Godwin knows how to survive any and all political crises. He'll stop at nothing to maintain his influence with the royal family. Oakes is no stranger to period dramas either. His most famous former roles have been in shows like The Borgias, The White Queen, and Victoria. In real life, however, David is nothing like his bad boy characters. He's an environmentalist and supports several charity organizations. He also has a passion project, a podcast where he explores his lifelong fascination with wildlife. Oakes is in a relationship with fellow actress Natalie Dormer. They both performed in the play Venus in Fur in 2019 and have a daughter together. The Game of Thrones star didn't publicly announce her pregnancy, but later explained why. It's the perfect thing to do during a pandemic, get pregnant and have a baby, joked Natalie. She'll probably be sitting in a bar in 30 years time on a date going, yeah, I'm a COVID baby. Unfortunately for the fans, they can't get any news about the pair or their baby daughter through social media. Natalie doesn't use it at all, while David's account is totally devoted to the wonders of nature. Now let's talk about the Queen of Kattegat, Carolyn Henderson as Jarl Hakon. Sadly, the legendary Lagertha won't appear on the show, but lucky for us, we'll get another great warrior maiden who rules Kattegat with a steady hand. Although she's pagan, she keeps the city open to all faiths and becomes a powerful mentor to Freydis, Eric's daughter. Swedish actress Caroline Henderson is best known for her jazz singing. She's had a number of hit singles in Denmark, where she has lived since the 1980s. Caroline has also appeared in a handful of TV productions, but none of them as big as Vikings Valhalla. I'm so proud and humbled to be a part of this amazing adventure, she shared in her Instagram. And the last character on our list is also a queen, Pollyanna McIntosh, as Queen Alf Gifu. This calculating and ambitious political player uses her charm and guile to promote the interests of her Mercian homeland. She also tries to assert herself in Canute's growing power structure. The queen is played by Pollyanna McIntosh, known for her role in The Walking Dead. The Scottish actress began performing at a young age, first on stage and then in indie films. By now, Pollyanna has more than 50 credits to her name. Moreover, she recently made her debut as a scriptwriter and director for the social issue horror film Darlin'. McIntosh was married to actor Grant Show for eight years before they got divorced in 2011. Since then, the actress has kept her private life under wraps. That's all we can tell you about the Vikings Valhalla cast so far, but you can check out our numerous videos about the original show. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.